What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Battlefield 5. And today I want to talk about some things that were leaked uh, about the game that were data mined from the PC side. So this, be sh so this should be things that will be coming to the game later on. These were some weapons, two new maps, and a new 5v5 competitive mode. So that is what the two new maps are strictly dedicated to. First of all, I will talk about the weapons, and I'm not going to give you the stats, even though the stats are listed with these weapons, because I'm not sure if these stats will translate over to the game once these weapons are released. But I will link this entire article down in the description below if you would like to read over these weapon stats for yourself. Now, they did talk about a few different weapons. It's not, it's not a lot, but it is a handful of new weapons. The M2 Carbine, which would be an assault rifle. The uh, M1935 PG, which would be the first burst style rifle of the era. It's going to be a, fur, uh, a four round burst style gun. Also, the Model 37 and the SW Model 27. They did talk about some of the new specializations as well. Some of these specializations kind of got data mined along with this quick reload or quick ADS, heavy load or slugs, improved penetration or increased headshot damage. Extended, extended magazine or improved trigger. Now those are all new specializations that we really have not seen in in this kind of form or fashion. These are all kind of unique, I would say, to some this particular weapons. But the increased headshot damage or the increased or improved penetration is kind of interesting in my mind. Now some of these things may not ever get into the game. Sometimes people data mine stuff from games. And it just never makes its way into the game. It was things that were there that they thought about putting in at some point, And they do not do it as, as the game's life cycle goes on. They do something a little bit different. But if some of these things are coming to the game, I find this very interesting. Now the weapons, I would probably about guarantee we will see all these weapons eventually. But I would like to see some of these different specializations. I think that is very uh, a very unique thing that could change the way certain weapons uh, kind of play out on certain maps. And, and you know, just kind of have some different things for each individual weapon to make them kind of tailored to a certain playstyle. Now, like I said, they did mention two new maps, and these are kind of tailored for this 5v5 competitive mode. Now, I'm not sure if Battlefield is trying to get into the esports scene. I've always kind of thought that it could, but it needs to be a totally different game. You couldn't play a, you know, a competitive scene kind of game with 64 players. It'd have to be something like 5 on 5, 6 on 6. So this 5 on 5 mode would definitely work. Now, I kind of thought back in the day, maybe EA would go with a totally different style game that was more of a competitive style game for an esports kind of scene, but they have never really done that. But I am, I am very shocked that DICE and EA have not kind of jumped on that esports bandwagon. Because you look at things like Call of Duty, Halo, Gears of War, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, you can even go with Fortnite, you can go with PUBG, you can go to things, of course, like League of Legends. All of those games all have esports scenes and they're just growing more and more every year and getting more and more popular uh, by views on Twitch and by attendants that are actually there watching these events live. So I'm wondering if Battlefield is going to try to start well, it's kind of small and see where this goes. Now, they did have something back during Battlefield 4. I'm not sure if you guys were aware of this, but it was, I, I would think it was on the Esports League channel, the ESL. It was one of those, I'm not quite sure, because it wasn't very popular. This was I, I watched it a few times, it just was not received well. To me, the game modes within, that they played within Battlefield 4 just did not really fit you know, a competitive scene that well, in my opinion. It is not enjoyable to watch or not really, you know, didn't keep your attention in my opinion. And that has always been an issue to me for Battlefield. Uh, if I look at like what they have now with the new kind of 8 on 8 squad mode, I really enjoy that mode. I do feel that the maps are still a bit too big uh, and it would be kind of hard to watch because it's almost kind of boring because sometimes you don't see people. So hopefully these maps will be a bit smaller. And I think they need at least three different game modes or two really good game modes to play if they're going to make a competitive style uh, you know, game. You could play something like a domination style. We got to capture certain points. Something like a search and destroy, or you know, with this game, something like a, a smaller rush style game mode. Anything that would, you know, kind of be a, a respawn mode, and then maybe a game mode that is not a respawn mode, to make it a little more interesting to watch. And like I said, smaller maps I think would make five v five, kind of a competitive thing. 
pretty enjoyable within Battlefield. Like I said, I'm, I, it's odd to me that DICE and EA have waited this long to kind of jump on to the competitive bandwagon and maybe even one day go into esports. Maybe they will. Who knows? But I'm kind of curious. Let me know what you guys think about, of course, all of these leaks. And definitely read that article, like I said, and look at some of these weapon stats. And let me know what you would like to see come to the game as well in the upcoming months. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.